let's talk about a growing message or trend that is out there that the big, the biggest of the big real estate buyers are no longer buying, but are actually becoming sellers. I'm hearing more and more folks say that the big boys being out of the market is going to cause a housing crash. Well, let's talk about it. Let's throw some logic around it. Let's also talk about a soft landing and what the chief economist at Citigroup had to say. Sorry about that. Uh, so first, let's just jump right into it. There is a growing talk track that A, the biggest of big home buyers are on the sidelines. So first, I believe that statement is fact. I believe that is absolutely true. I believe the volume of the biggest home buyers is down, significantly down. And frankly, that is a good thing. But I think there is a leap being made that says the biggest of home buyers are going to go from net buyers to meaningfully net sellers. Now, some of that evidence is true because you're seeing still some of the flippers like Zillow and all these other, or whether it's Redfin or Open Door, they're still selling more than they're buying. So that's true. But I think the talk track that they're trying to put out there is, hey, these big people like Invitation Homes or American Homes for Rent, they're suddenly going to become net sellers of homes. Now, let's play with that for a moment, if you don't mind. Let's say Invitation Homes, American Homes decide to exit a market. Let's just make up some numbers together. They have a thousand homes. What I believe the crash bros, crash bears are indicating is, hey, these folks like Invitation Homes, purely in this example, it's just an example, they're going to list these thousand homes individually, and that's going to cause a price crash. Well, I believe that is highly unlikely. In fact, we have already seen a large home buyer execute the process. If you guys don't remember, Billionaire Barry, Barry Sternlich, sold 2,000 homes at one time. There's no question that he sold those 2,000 homes at a discount. However, he sold them all at once to another large buyer. These large buyers, these biggest of big buyers, they are not going to sell to mom and dad. They are going to sell to a distressed fund. They are going to sell to some other Wall Street person. And these units are not, in my opinion, going to end up on the street for you and I to buy. So this wave of supply that is going to come from these big owners of rental homes, I don't think is going to show up. And thus, if the wave of supply doesn't come, you and I don't see price crash. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. If you disagree, let me know. Do you think they're going to sell individually? Because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will. But let's see. Let's talk about a soft landing. What is a soft landing kind of by the numbers, something you and I could watch? One, GDP is positive, but low. Sub sub 1%, but positive. The unemployment rate stays below 4.5%. Weekly unemployment claims stays below 300 grand. And inflation CPI headline falls below 2.5. That's kind of the running definition of a soft landing. The chief economist of Citigroup is saying that his name is Nathan Sheets that higher rates is like economic gravity. Economic gravity, I think that's a great image. And basically what he's saying is with the Fed's rate hike cycle, a recession is all but guaranteed. And he is calling for that in 2024. Interesting. Don't know if you saw this, but on September 7th, mortgage rates were 7.84. Most recently they were 7.6. Uh, that was over the weekend. I'm not sure what they were doing Monday. Back to Danielle DiMartino Booth's that conversation about rates higher for longer. She actually highlighted that rate cuts could happen if inflation falls. 
Uh, the Fed could cut rate, but watch QT. That's that's really been sitting on me uh, the last couple of days because I think it is absolutely right and something that I missed. So I thank Danielle for that education. Uh, something we got to remember about companies warning about higher costs and lower margins. Folks, if a company is warning about lower profit and higher costs, that is a good thing for inflation. Because last year, when they had higher costs, they raised prices. Now they are eating margin. So do yourself a favor over the next 90 days to six months, three to six months, watch for profit warnings. If you're getting profit warnings because of higher cost, that is not inflationary, right? That just means they're eating margin. Mark Cuban. Truer words never been sold. If somebody claims they can make help you get you rich, they're lying. Folks, the only person that can get you rich is you. You have to take ownership. You have to take responsibility. You have to do the work. You have to stop listening to negative people. You got to own your stuff. You are the only person that can make you rich, you wealthy. Goldman Sachs says a government shutdown will last two to three weeks. What do you think? I think the government shutdown is going to go a month. At, at I'll say this, at least a month. So if the over under is 31 days, I am taking the over. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want the over or under on 31 days? Thanks, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.